the placebo effect and birth control pills. This isn't actually a joke, it's actually quite true. Um, it relates to a hospital in the Philippines where a doctor was basically selling birth control pills which were placebos. They're basically medication that is not medication, they're just empty, empty capsules. <laughs> they do nothing at all. Um, I remember standing talking to a guy in a taxi queue who was telling me that he'd gone to the, his wife had got pregnant He's, I think he was 68, he wasn't interested in kids, he was already, you know, enjoying his last lease of life and just wanted to relax and not get involved with the family stuff. So he, his wife had gone to the doctor for medication, for birth control and it was fake medication. Funny enough, when they went to the hospital the doctors disappeared and you find stuff like that is quite common which is why you need to be cautious of what doctors you use etc um, I know the I just want to check this my wife's doctor before uh, sorry for the little delay I'm just checking the name of the company but what she does is is forever living. Right? Forever living are overpriced vitamins, and she would sell them as medicine, basically pushing it as medicine. I got really angry about this because the fact is, she's encouraging people to spend say five thousand pesos on some jumped up vitamins, which I mean I'm not being funny. Unless you've got a major problem, you can get most of your vitamins from a balanced diet anyway. But this is overpriced junk. Um, she she basically was pushing it to her trusted um, customers, because obviously she's run it as a business, who had gone there to see a doctor, not a salesperson. And where this angers me is that she would talk them into buying this stuff they didn't need and like medication, it's 5,000 pesos for a batch of vitamins only worth about three quid from Tesco's. And what happens if another child gets sick? Because people don't have that disposable income. That 5,000 pesos she's just robbed of somebody is actually a month's worth of expendable income. You know, when I say expendable, it's not really money they have spare, but it's what they have available. So if a kid breaks a leg, they've no money for a hospital that anymore because this um, doctor that originally signed an oath uh, to help people etc is exploiting the situation for her own benefit and she'll sit there telling you how she's going on these boat trips and cruising around Australia etc from forever wherever is it forever living forever living we're funding her trips for you know these network marketing meetups and why is she getting so such big trips because it's pretty obvious she's making that much money off her customers and the problem in the Philippines many people will trust their doctor even if they're exploiting the situation for their own benefit so all I'm saying is be aware these things do happen but also if somebody comes back to you and says, well, the doctor says I've got to get this, have a quick look at it and see what it is. I mean, Google is right in front of you. Google will tell you most of the things with it. It will tell you if there's any side effects or if it's been banned in other countries or if it's actually even medication and as part of a sales pitch. Because it's important to steer the people in the right direction because A, it wastes money, but B, these people are put in a position of trust and often you'll find rather than them being sacked or you taking legal action the doctor will suddenly just not be there the next time you go to visit or you're threatening legal action they'd be moved to another hospital but they'll say we don't know where they are because obviously in a medical system it's very easy to get lost because of the scale of the operations anyway something to think about